Hi guys, so we are back with another haul of random stuff that I have listed recently on eBay. I'm trying to clear off my table again. I think I have about 55 items to show you in this video. Um, and my table is still pretty full, so I don't think Eric's going to be all that thrilled. He was like, you should clear off this table today so we can put some more stuff on it. But it's a lot of small things. And you know how that is. <laughs> so I still have quite a lot left on the table. So I'm going to probably have to do another video here soon. Okay, so let's just get into the first thing that I have to share. Um, this here is a fairy lamp candle. I got this. Oh, goodness. It's been a while since I got it. I actually hung on to it for a little bit. Um, but I did decide to list it. It was still in its original box. It's called a Love Light Candle. So it's a clear um, fairy lamp and it actually comes with wicks and it, they're so brand new, still sealed, never used. Uh, apparently you fill the bottom or you can, you can fill the bottom with salad oil, lay this floating wick on top and then it just floats on top of the liquid, um, you know, and then leaves like a really pretty glow obviously you don't have to use those wicks you could put in a votive candle you could put in um one of those flameless uh tea light candles in there but regardless um i did decide to list this and i listed it for um $39.99 on auction i didn't see any that were still in the box with the original wicks i won recently a lot of there's seven of these um uranium vaseline glasses these glow really pretty under black light they have like a footed um bottom to them and then they have like an etched floral design on them i paid ten dollars for these and i did put them up on auction with a starting price of 59 dollars and 99 cents i was seeing people selling just one glass for like twelve dollars so i figured with seven of them you know that's quite a nice little collection right there so we'll see this is a bath and body Works spray in the scent aquamarine um this is a hard to find fragrance. I actually already sold one of these in the past. This one was actually in my collection, but it was never it was never really a fragrance that I really took to. It definitely has a bit of a manlier smell to it. It's not a it's not a very feminine smell if that makes sense. It's just a lot um like heavier um and it's a clean fragrance i like the fragrance i love this fragrance on say eric but me personally i just prefer like more softer fragrances floral sweet scents and that kind of thing so i decided to pass it along especially since it is a good one um i listed this as a buy it now for 49 dollars 99 guys this one is a good one um I listed this. I had this forever. I got this at a yard sale. I think it was last year, I want to say. Uh, this is a vintage pirate chest jewelry box. I mean, look at how amazing this thing is. It's got, it's wood and it's got um, copper all around it. I'm assuming that's copper. Um, and it is vintage. It's by a company called Jetline. There's like a little sticker right here. Uh, red velvet bottom. I love how this opens. So there's like this little rod that just goes in. So you just whoop, flick it right out. And then on the inside, again, all red velvet lined. Um, top tray, ah, top tray has uh, divided compartments and then the bottom is also red velvet lined. Absolutely amazing. I love this thing. Obviously I wanted to keep it, but I, can, I can't keep I can't keep everything I, I find. It's just, it's not possible. Um, but I thought it was so cool. Um, I listed this on auction with a starting price of $39.99. I saw a sim similar one sell for I think around 60 or 70. So um, if I only get $39.99 for it, that's fine. Or if I don't get any bits, maybe I'll keep it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, next I have a little Hershey's chocolate um, Easter figure. He's like a resin material. He still has his tag. Uh, this is by Kurt Adler. It just says Happy Easter from Hershey's. He's holding a Easter egg. So I listed him 
for a buy it now of $9.99. He came in a flat of other Hershey's related um, Christmas ornaments that Eric and I won at an auction. I'm pretty sure they all sold, but I still had him left. I listed this, this thing is amazing, this vintage. This is by Hazel Atlas. It is a juice pitcher or carafe. Um, it says juice on it and then it has these like atomic starbursts all over. Absolutely beautiful yellowish green top there. I got this at a yard sale over the summer. I'm pretty sure I paid one dollar for it. Um, and I listed this on auction with a starting price of $69.99. These were selling really well. In my last Cha-Ching video, you saw I had sold a couple of these pieces of um, vintage dollhouse furniture. by Pe These are Petite Princess by Ideal. I had two boxes left. Both of these boxes have um, some damage to them, but uh, they can be repaired. The pieces are inside. They just need glued. Uh, this one is a set of two dining chairs, and one of the chairs, the leg, um, is broken off, so it needs glued. And then this one here is the grand piano. It comes with the bench, the piano, and um, the little gramophone and the music notes. Really cute. The whole top opens up. You know what? I'll get it out. The bench, the legs on the bench, again, were um, broken off, so they need to be glued back on. But here is what the piano looks like, and you can open it up. It's got a picture there on the top, and then it will stand up like so. It's absolutely gorgeous for a dollhouse. These were so just made with such nice detail. Here's like the little tiny uh, gramophone. See, and then here's the bench, but the bench, the legs are in there. Um, they just need glued back on, look like that. So. Really cute set. Anyway, so those were my last two pieces. I decided to just lot them together. Um, and I put them up on auction with a starting price of $12.99. This was on a random tray um, at an auction. It's definitely older. It's marked Germany. And it's just like a little like celery relish dish. That's the maker's mark on it. I listed this for a buy it now of $9.99. This was also another random tray at an auction. This is a ceramic Mary planter. She's got these really pretty rhinestones um, there. It doesn't have any maker's marks. And someone did have like some of that floral uh, styrofoam in there. Um, but really pretty. I listed her for a buy it now of $19.99. This was another random auction um, thing in a box lot. It says the official state flower silver spoon miniatures. These would have been, um, here I'll show you what they look like. If you ever come across these, these are by the Franklin Mint. I don't actually have the spoons, um, but they're worth like a couple hundred dollars if you ever do come across them. Anyway, this is just for, there was like a certificate of authenticity in there. And then it's like a pat, like a box. And each card um, talks about each state and the spoon that would have like correspond to it. Anyway, I was just going to throw this um, in like a yard sale type thing. But I did see one sell for ten bucks at one point so if anyone has the spoons but they don't have the the cards um i did put that up as uh, i put it on auction with a starting price of nine dollars and 99 cents again another random box slot from the auction these are all old um camera flash bulbs so this one is called magic cubes we got two general electric um flash bulbs and then this there's two in here, Sylvania Flash Bar. I listed that whole auction. Um, I listed that whole set together on auction with a starting price of $9.99. I didn't know if anyone would buy those or not. I don't know how popular vintage camera accessories are. I mean, I know people like vintage cameras, so you would think that they'd want the accessories to go with them, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um... I had won a bunch of old 
toys at one point at the auction. Um, a lot of them all together, like similar groupings. Uh, this first set is a set of army men. They're made of like a chalkware type of material. There's two men that are made to hold a stretcher and then there's like a wounded soldier. There's no markings on them other than made in USA. So I'm not sure who they're made by. And then there's, um, there's two nurses and a doctor as well. So I just lotted those up all together. Um, I put them on auction with a starting price of $29.99. I'm pretty sure they have a water. Uh, same with this set. Th this is a set of um, old metal lead um, farm animals. These are heavy. And they're all the same color. This one is of a horse. And there's literally all sorts of farm animals. There's a cow, and then there's also even like a little lady in there. So I put that all up together on auction with a starting price of $29.99. Again, that one has watchers as well. And then I also have more of these lead bar clay um, toy soldiers. I did list one separately. If you guys watched my haul videos, it was one with a gas mask. These ones are all different um, lead toy soldiers. So I think there's one, one, two, three, one, three. There's four of the bar clay ones. This one is a guy on a horse. And then there was like a random one that didn't really go with it, but I just threw it in the same lot. <laughs> anyway, I put this whole lot up on auction again with a starting price of $29.99 and that does already have a bid. I got this purse at an auction. I paid $1 for it. I thought it was really nice. It's black leather and made in Italy. I don't have a brand name on it, but on the front it's got like this watch print. So it's definitely vintage and looks like this on the inside. So it seemed like a really nice bag. There is a little bit of an issue right here. You can see it looks like um maybe like a paint mark or something there. Anyway, I put this up on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I also got this Brighton belt for $1. Um, it's a size 32 black leather. There is a little bit of like tarnishing on the belt buckle itself, but other than that, um, it's in really nice condition by Brighton. I put this up as a buy it now for $12.99. Got this clear vinyl Mickey Mouse tote bag. This still had the original tag on it. This definitely looks vintage. I would say maybe from the 90s. Um, so cute, uh, paid a dollar for that. And I put it up on auction with a starting price of $12.99. I couldn't believe it, but I won this fossil bag at an auction. I'm pretty sure I only paid a dollar for this, which is just mind-boggling. Um, I did not list this because I decided to keep it because you guys know I love fossil and I love my crossbody bags, especially in the summer um, when I'm going yard sailing. This one is actually made of cowhide. It's very like furry, um, nice leather bag. So it is, it's in brand new condition. Like the zipper pull on the inside here still has like plastic wrap on it. It's a beautiful bag. So I'm sorry, I'm keeping that for now. <laughs> I have this little lot of vintage um, eyeglass cases. This first one is, um, I don't even know what kind of color you want to describe that as. <laughs> Maybe like a Dijon mustard of some sort. So we got that one. And then this um, silver one, which has like a velvet lining on the interior. I didn't know if these were anything that, you know, someone, I don't know if people maybe collect these or not. Anyway, um, let's see. I put these up as a buy it now for $9.99. So we'll see. I have a set of two of these crystal prism lamps. These are absolutely gorgeous. So there are two, the other one's sitting over on my table. I don't know who these are made by, uh, but they have these beautiful hanging like chandelier glass prisms. They're definitely older. You can pretty much tell by the cord. The cord is 
<laughs> the cord is really old. Um, but absolutely beautiful lamps. I paid $15 for the pair. I put these up on auction with a starting price of $79.99. Um, next we have a Nippin item. I call it Nippin, Nippon, um... I like nipping, so let's just call it nipping. Uh, this is a jelly jam uh, container or condensed milk. I have a Limoges one that I had purchased at an auction. It never sold yet, but I decided that I wanted I wanted this one as well. Um, so absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the print on that. It's beautiful. It has its underplate, um, you know, the lid and everything. So I won this for. $15. I put it up on auction with a starting price of $49.99. It has quite a few bids. I feel like it might be up to like 80 some dollars currently. I'm not entirely sure and I don't have my phone down here to check but um, it's definitely got bids. I won this set of two of these really large um, what do they call these? Fix and mix Tupperware bowls. I got a green one and a yellow one. I won these for $8 and I put them up on auction with a starting price of $39.99. Um, people obviously love vintage Tupperware and these ones are great um, for, you know, when you're making big batches of stuff like macaroni salad for like, you know, a picnic that you need to take to feed a lot of people or, you know, your holiday baking and that kind of thing. I actually already have one of these that belong to my mom. This next item is a Winnie the Pooh Lennox teapot. I'm going to post up a picture of it. I don't want to like dig it all out. It's very, got some intricate parts to it. Um, won this at an auction for just $10. Absolutely beautiful Lennox piece. I put it up as a buy it now for $89.99. I got this old um, Shiseido makeup uh, face powder compact. I got this at an auction for a dollar. Absolutely beautiful, gold colored. And then on the inside, it's got the mirror and the little Shiseido um, face powder buff. There's no makeup in it, but you could probably like still refill this possibly um, with face powder. So I put this up on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I got this on a tray at an auction. Um, there was something else that I wanted on the tray. I didn't even realize this was in on the tray. It was like in a Ziploc baggie, but these can be valuable. These are old um, stuffed fabric cats. Um, there's a little mark down here. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. I will post my um, listing picture to tell you you can see the the brand name of this uh, particular cat anyway the the stuffed plush cats these fabric cats were selling really really well um, I put this up as an auction with a starting price of $39.99 this also came in the tray of something else that I wanted it's this little um, skeleton resin figure he's just like chilling on a skull there's no maker's marks or anything i doubt he's like old or anything like that but he was cool looking i put him up on auction with a starting price of nine dollars and 99 cents was on a random tray at the auction this little plush snowman ornament i thought he was cute he's by a company called crazy mountain so i listed him for a buy it now of $5.99. Next lot was also on a random tray at the auction. These are all Christmas bells and they are marked on the inside limited edition made in PA. So this first one has a bell print and the back says Noel. This one says happy holidays with a candy cane. And then this one has some Christmas ornaments and says Noel. So I listed those all together um, for a buy it now of $19.99. This was the item that I wanted on the Halloween tray where that skeleton came from as well as the fabric cat. This is like a Halloween um, little animated um, prop of a maggot slug. Super cute. This is by Jemmy. Um, things by the Jemmy brand can definitely sell really well. He does sing 
and move around. In my auction listing, there is a video of him going. He doesn't have batteries in currently, but you can see what he does. Anyway, I won the tray, I believe, for $10. So I paid $10 pretty much for him. And I listed him on auction with a starting price of $99.99. All the ones that have sold were still on their original packagings. Um, and they've sold for more than $100. So, you know, if someone's looking for this, I think I can easily get the $99 that I'm asking for it. Okay, so I have a lot of Avon-related items in this haul. This first is a body lotion in the scent far away Bella I'll go over these as fast as I can um I have this listed as a buy it now for eight dollars and 99 cents I have been selling a decent amount of Avon lately I just sold a perfume this morning um I have this this is by Avon it's called Yasu body spray in the scent ocean petals I actually have seven bottles of these and I listed them as a buy it now for nine dollars and 99 cents a piece I got this Bali bliss body lotion again Avon listed this as a buy it now for six dollars and 99 cents this is just a little red um, cardinal ornament I thought this was really cute um, it's kind of made of like a fabric, like an embroidered fabric. I just thought that was really pretty. So I listed him as a buy it now for $5.99. Um, this is an old, this is from 1982, a uh, porcelain German Christmas bell by Kaiser. It's marked West Germany. I listed this as a buy it now for $6.99. I got this little German Shepherd resin a Christmas ornament. He's wearing a Santa hat and it says Happy Holidays. Really cute. Doesn't have a name brand or anything on it, so I'm not sure where he originally came from. Uh, put him up as a buy it now for $6.99. All of those Christmas items came from like the same random Christmas tray I got at an auction. Another Avon item I have is a Mark Glam Azine Lip and Cheek Rouge. So you can use this as a um, lipstick or blush it's in the shade retro red put this up as a buy it now for five dollars and 99 cents i got a pomegranate and mango body lotion listed for a buy it now of five dollars and 99 cents i have three bottles of this men's perceive cologne uh these are a buy it now of nine dollars and 99 cents a piece so i have three of those I have this Avon perfumed body talc in the scent Perceive. So this is the women's Perceive fragrance. This is a buy it now of $5.99. Avon shine body lotion, buy it now for $8.99. I got this old tin at an auction for a dollar. It has um, Wallace Reed on the front. He was like a silent film actor, um, but Tins by this brand called Henry Clive, they're called Butte Boxes, um, we're selling pretty decently. I mean, he does have some scratch marks, but this would be cute to put like um, your, cause like even the inside has a little bit of a design to it. But it'd be cute to put like sewing notions and stuff in and that type of thing. So I listed this on auction with a starting price of $19.99. It actually has quite a few watchers, so we'll see. Um, where that goes, if anywhere. <laughs> I got a olive oil Popeye plush. Listed her for a buy it now of $5.99. Um, another Avon item. This is a Milk Maid foaming bath powder. Listed this for a buy it now of $5.99. Got a Avon Haiku Sunset Body Lotion for a buy it now of $5.99. This is an Avon Vanilla Musk Perfume. I listed this as a buy it now for $25.99. This one's actually worth a little more. This is an Avon item called Hollywood Glamour Cream. This is a lotion, it is still sealed. Um, put this up as a buy it now for $19.99. This was selling pretty well also. I also have more of that Yasu by Avon Body Sprays. This one is in the scent Citrus Commotion. I have two of these as a buy it now for $9.99 a piece. 
I got this lotion. This is called Azure. It's by a company called Watkins. It's really pretty. It reminds me of something like you would put on your legs before you go out to like lay in the sun or something, like a suntan type of lotion. Um, I listed this as a buy it now for $39.99. Other stuff by that brand in that scent were um, listed around that price. Uh, let's see, I got this Primal Pit Paste Deodorant in Lavender. This is brand new, still sealed. Um, listed this as a buy it now for $13.99. I got an Avon Odyssey perfume for a buy it now of $9.99. This is an Avon um, like perfumed body lotion in the scent Occur. That I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I got a little mini bottle of Jessica McClintock perfume. Listed that as a buy it now for $19.99. This is an Avon Ever After perfume. I listed as a buy it now for $8.99. This is another Avon perfume in the fragrance called Josie. I listed that as a buy it now for $14.99. And 99 cents. And the last item I have is two bottles of this Avon perfume called Be Spontaneous. Um, I listed these as a buy it now for $12.99 a piece. So that is everything for this haul. Oh my goodness, what was that? That was 55 things that I um, had gotten listed. So, but it was a lot of small stuff because it was a lot of like Avon things. I had won a whole bunch of Avon stuff at an auction and I'm still trying to get through it. Um, I still have a few pieces left. I'm, I'm pretty much almost there. My next haul will have a little bit left over. Um, but I don't think it's a whole lot. So that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you guys let me know what you thought down in the comments. And I will see you next time.